keep deception and lies far from me. Proverbs 30, verse 8. Oh my God, do not be far from me. Psalm 38, verse 21. Here we have two great lessons, what to deprecate and what to supplicate. The happy estate of a Christian is the holy estate. As there is the most heat nearest the sun, so there is the most happiness nearest to Christ. No Christian enjoys comfort when his eyes are fixed on vanity. He finds no satisfaction unless his soul is quickened in the ways of God. The world may find happiness elsewhere, but he cannot. I do not blame ungodly men for rushing to their pleasures. Why should I? Let them have their fill. That is all they have to enjoy. The converted wife who despaired of her husband was always very kind to him, for she said, I fear that this is the only world in which you will be happy, and therefore I have made up my mind to make him as happy as I can in it. Christians must seek their delights in a higher sphere than the insipid frivolities of sinful enjoyments of the world. Vain pursuits are dangerous to renewed souls. We have heard of a philosopher who, while he looked up to the stars, fell into a pit. But how deeply do they fall who look down? Their fall is fatal. No Christian is safe when his soul is slothful and his God is far from him. Every Christian is always safe as to the great matter of his standing in Christ, but he is not safe as regards his experience in holiness and communion with Jesus in his life. Satan does not often attack a Christian who is living near to God. It is when the Christian departs from his God, becomes spiritually starved, and endeavors to feed on vanities that the devil discovers his vantage hour. He may sometimes stand foot to foot with the child of God who is active in his master's service, but the battle is generally short. He who slips, as he who goes down into the valley of humiliation, every time he takes a false step invites Apollyon to assail him. Oh, for grace to walk humbly with our God! deception and lies far from me. Proverbs 30, verse 8. Oh my God, do not be far from me. Psalm 38, verse 21.